Alrighty, everybody, and yo! What is going on, everybody? It's Super Mario Nick without the K here on YouTube. And today, in this video, we are going to be doing a video that is very, very controversial. Now, this is another top 10 SML characters list ranking, but with a twist. Today, we are going to be ranking the top 10 best SML characters of all time. What do I mean by that? Well, we are going to be comparing the 2010 Mama Luigi to the 2014 Bowser Jr., to the 2017 Jeffy to see who ultimately is the best SML character of all time. So um, basically we're going to be looking at each character from their prime and from their peak. And we are going to be putting those together to the test and seeing who is going to come out to the top and which SML character was truly the best for their time. So let's get right on to it. Of course, if you guys are going to go on to enjoy, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, and comment down below what you guys would love to see next, what video idea you would love to see next. So anyway, let's just get right on to it. And at number 10, we have got Shrek from about 2015 to 2016. Again, Shrek didn't really have too many videos, but around that time era is where I would put Shrek for to, for the top 10 and number 10 spot. I like Shrek. I think he's a great SML character. Don't get me wrong. But I don't feel like he even compares to some of the other characters on the list when it comes to them being at their peak and in their prime spots. But I will say Shrek did make the list because I still find him to be a very funny character. And I think that overall... He is a solid, solid character to kick the list off. And remember, back when he was in his prime, he was actually a pretty good character. So yeah, that, that's what I would have to say about number 10 Shrek. Alright guys, and this next character coming on the list. No, it's not Junior. No, it's not Cody. But instead, it's the third member of the Junior Trio. And that is Joseph. Now look, let me tell you about Joseph, okay? Now, it, the, we're going with 2017 Joseph because the 2020 and 2021 Joseph has been absolutely atrocious. They kind of killed off the character. He is kind of coming back now, but like if we're talking about recent Joseph, he wouldn't even make it on the list. But when you remember 2017 Joseph and you remember when he was at his peak, when he was doing all the stupid stuff with Junior, when he was going around, you know, breaking the stuff in the apartment, moving into the new house, Joseph being Joseph... The prime, the prime version of Joseph, like, it, it just doesn't get better than that for Joseph. And honestly, I think the 2017 Joseph is the number ninth best character of all time. Now, at number eight on the list, we have Mr. Goodman from 2019. Look, I think Mr. Goodman is an absolutely fantastic character. And the fact that he is only number eight on the list goes to show how good SML characters have really been in their peak and in their prime spots. But Mr. Goodman at number eight from 2019, like he was hands down one of the best characters in 2019 um, because he was, he was at his point where he was making the best jokes possible. Um, he was more funny than he was a jerk back then, but he still maintained his jerkness, you know, but he kind of like kept it a bit more on the, on the low profile. And now I feel like He's more into that jerky kind of guy, you know, and he's developing more like that instead of more funny. But either way, back in 2019, Mr. Goodman was always throwing out jokes. And if y'all don't remember, he had some of the best SML episodes out there. But the fact that I'm able to speak so highly about the number eight spot just goes to show how great SML characters have been throughout the years. And at number seven, I thought he was going to be a lot higher on the list, but I simply could not put him higher. At number seven, we have Black Yoshi from 2019 as well. Remember, Black Yoshi's 2019 videos, some of them included, you know, the, um, the scam, like the, what's it called? What was that, what was that episode called where, um, the GoFundMe, the GoFundMe scam, Black Yoshi scam, and just a bunch of other amazing Black Yoshi videos, um, that we all know and love today, but, um... He comes in at the number seven spot with Black Yoshi from 2019 simply because it's kind of the same thing as Mr. Goodman. He kind of carried the show a little bit or the, the YouTube channel back at that point in 2019. But however, I do not feel that 
he is better than the other six characters remaining on the list. And that's just what happens when you compare SML characters from their times. Um, Block Yoshi right now would probably be a top five character, I'd assume, maybe top six. But either way, he does fall one in the ranking if we're looking at an all-time statistic. Now at number six, we have the only 2021 SML character. And that is going to go to Cody. I think Cody in 2021 is just an absolutely amazing character. I think he's at his best. Although a lot of people would say that 2019 Cody is the best. I would say that 2021 Cody is the best by far because he has just been a lot more funny. I guess he has been funny in 2019. You could go with that. Obviously, 2020 doesn't really count because the pandemic kind of screwed Cody's entire, you know, character model because you know uh because of the pandemic of course but to say the least cody was a very good character in 2019 and also in 21 but there are five better characters than cody in an all-time situation and if it were right now he would be a top two maybe top three character um but of course since this is an all-time ranking he ranks in at number six Okay, so while I was recording the video, um, my, my legs started to bleed, which is very interesting, so I have to go deal with that. But anyway, we're back to the video, and at number five, we have got Brooklyn T Guy from 2020. Now, I know I said Cody's entire character model was ruined in 2020 for that year, but Brooklyn T Guy was at his best in 2020, and I'll explain why in a second. Look, we realized, when we didn't have Brooklyn T Guy, we realized how much we needed him. Officer Top and Bottom were probably the worst SML character we have ever seen of all time. And so seeing a guy like Brooklyn T guy come back, it kind of made us realize how good of a character he truly was and how much he is needed in SML, although he is just simply a character who is on the side. But either way, either way. I think it is hands down a fantastic, Brooklyn T guys, hands down a fantastic character. Right now, he is the best SML character, and I don't think there's any debate about that. I still think he's better than Jeffy, than Junior, and all that today. But when it comes to a, uh, you know, all-time standpoint, Brooklyn T guys, that's the number five spot. Now at number four, we have got the OG 2014 Chef PP. I mean, he was class. Like, he was class, Junior was class in 2014 as well, but Chef PP, man. Oh, boy, this character was good. Y'all remember all those, you know, OG videos of Chef PP um, in 2014, 2015. I mean, those were the videos, and those were the videos that I grew up with. You know, I grew up watching those videos. I grew up watching SML in about 2013, 2014, and Chef PP and Junior were the two characters I grew up watching and knowing and loving. Um... I came around that era, so for me, Chef PP during those times will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, he will always hold a safe place in me, and for that, is that a little bit biased? A little bit, but at the same time, you can't disagree that Chef PP from 2014 was absolutely unreal. Now, it's actually very hard to find Mama Luigi footage out there right now, but at number three, we have Mama Luigi. Mama Luigi was, uh, he was, he, he was, he was a character, okay, like, he was a character, um, and he was a good one at that, and I have Mama Luigi from those very, very olden times, like, look, I didn't grow up watching Mama Luigi, so I wouldn't know, but I do, what I do know is I went back to watch Mama Luigi when I was younger, and I really did enjoy the character, I enjoyed him a lot more than any of the characters we mentioned on the list. I found he was super funny, and um, I found that he was really crazy and stupid, and I really, really liked that, um, and that's why I'm going to give it over to Mama Luigi at the number three spot, which means we have two characters left, and I think y'all know who the two characters are, but which one will be number one and which one will be number two? Jeffy is not number one on my list. At number two, we have Jeffy from 2017. I mean, Jeffy from 2017 is... It, it, he, he got the hype. Like, back in the day, I know everybody was on Jeffy. Like, look, there were people who hated him, but for the most part, the SML community really liked him. 
Until that to be family friendly, nobody really liked him. And or I know there's still a lot of people like every. I'm telling you, at least like half the SML community still has Jeff as their favorite SML character. Um, as I said in one of my previous videos, where I ranked the uh, community votes for the top ten best SML characters, and you guys had Jeffy at number one. But anyway. 2017 Jeffy is an unreal character. He is better than Mama Luigi. Whatever you want to say to me, look, I defend this um, and I s support my statement. Um, but at number one, we have the best SML character of all time. At number one from 2015, we have Bowser Jr., the hands down best SML character of all time. Look, S Junior was running SML back in 2015, 2014, 2016 until Jeffy came around. He was the stuff and he was always the stuff. He was the like the the, the sheer just best part of SML. He's the best thing that happened to SML. Man, I love Junior, and I always, you know, I, I think Junior, hands down, was an unreal character back in those days, and he was the best one, but that is my list. Comment down below what you would have had changed, but yeah, that's going to be me for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.